I'm going to show you another Cuchillo Canario and uh, this one is also handmade by Jesus Garcia Medina and Carlos Garcia Medina so Jesus and Carlos um, also from Gran Canaria it's a handmade Cuchillo Canario Compared to the other one I showed, which was made by Jesus Garcia Medina, this time by two of them from the same family, this one is a bigger one, bigger knife. The blade is uh, hand forged and also uh, hardened and tempered. You see the different surface uh, patterns on the blade and also how it is polished. I need to say it cuts very well, as you will see later in the video. As far as uh, I mean, the scabbard is concerned, the scabbard is made of leather, tooled one, and the handle is really beautiful because it's made of uh, three different colors of horn: white, dark brown, and beige brown or beige colored brown, and which interact with each other. And we have also some inlays of mother of pearl inside and also with uh, gold inlayings there in the handle. I mean, scabbard is also very, very well made. And if you take a look at the, uh, the handle, I mean, this is a hallmark of Cuchillo Canario. You cannot imagine how much work is put alone in making the handle. Here you see the certificates of uh, the knife, I mean, the certificate of the knife with, uh, with the signature of Jesus Garcia Medina and Carlos Garcia Medina. So here we go and you can take a look at the, the handle. Please take a closer look at the handle and all this geometric design which is put on the handle and the blade, the back of the blade also, it has a chiseling mark uh, on the back as you could see. And everything is really tight. It's hard. It's hard. I mean, it's really hard to imagine that the handle is made of so many different pieces. They fit so well together that you don't even realize that. In the light, you can see that it's translucent and transparent somehow. And this one is because of different colors uh, of horn, which shows you the beauty of the knife and what today knife makers in Gran Canaria are capable of making. Here we are going to see uh, the sharpness. You see how the knife cuts the uh, paper. It's really sharp. Here we are going to see uh, how it cuts the banana with its peel. And uh, look at it please. It's as if Nothing is in its way. Really nice, really sharp. I mean, m many people always talk about handmade uh, Cuchillo Canario, how well made the handles are, how beautiful they are, but please note all of them, these quality ones, have forged blades. And uh, this is, uh, I mean, very beautiful. I mean, it's also the blades, are, in my opinion, is one of the best blades I have ever handled. Really well made. I mean, I'm really happy that they kept the tradition alive in the Canary Islands, especially in Gran Canaria, which the knives originally come from, most of the knives at least. Here we go to a tomato test. You see how it cuts. Very well. You see, cutting a tomato is not as easy as one might think, but the knife cuts extremely well. You need to be very ca careful at your discretion and be your risk on risk. You need to be very careful when you handle such a knife. And then you can see here also how you, how it cuts the meat. The same thing, you know, as if nothing is uh, in its way. You see here again how it cuts uh, the meat. As you can see, some parts of the meat are not easy to cut, but it still goes through them. Right? Yeah. Just wanted you to see. It's an exceptional tool.
I mean, back then they said that it was used to cut uh, the banana from the uh, from the, uh, where it grew from the trees, banana trees. But it also can be used uh, in the kitchen. I mean, of course, not such a beautiful piece I'm using here. It's just for demonstration uses. It's the like cuchillo joya, jewel knife, as they call it. But I just want you to uh, show you here in Gran Canaria how well it cuts. That was the whole purpose of it. Hmm. Few places could keep the tradition of knife making as it was and used to be as Gran Canaria and Canary Islands kept. So it's really good news to see okay. such a tradition being uh, kept alive. Well, hope you enjoyed uh, the video and please subscribe to our channel and see you soon.